Well, Ian, um, good to see you out here today doing a turn for, <laughs> instead of douse. It's always nice to get a different perspective and a different voice. Um, what are your overall thoughts about the 90 minutes as a whole? Yeah, of course, overall, pleased to win the game. Um, you know, I think everyone that was here can see how much pressure we were put under in the second half. Um, you know, so to come out with a positive result and, and win the game, I think shows a lot of um, qualities in this squad, which we're obviously pleased with. Um, you know, I think first half we dominated the game, dominated in terms of possession, in terms of chances, territory. Um, disappointed probably not to come in maybe a goal or two more up, um, which may have made it more comfortable second half um, dealing with the pressure but you know that that will come um, and I think like I said we had to show some different qualities second half which are equally as pleasing really and we've just said to the boys in there you know don't discount character hard work um, desire to, to keep going in a game under a lot of pressure in the second half and it was always going to be a game of two halves with, with the conditions there's a strong wind obviously going one way and we had it with us in the first half um, which I think we utilised fairly well and obviously it was against us in the second half um, and at 1-0 you know there's always going to be that chance that if they equalise there might be a bit of a momentum shift which there was um, but like I said we had to show some different qualities battling qualities today which you know if you're going to be there or they're about to the top of the league come the end of the season you have to show especially away from home, um, especially against a team that's unbeaten up to now and in the top four before today. Um, so, yeah, I think overall, please, you know, we, we, we did create still two or three good chances in the second half, which is pleasing. Um, you know, and, and to get the goal the way we did, um, fantastic cross from Max and, and outstanding header from Kane Ferdinand um, to win the game, like I said, show, shows a lot about the boys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we start the second half having dominated the first, as you said, and, and had a really good chance. It was a fantastic save at, at this goal that we're standing by, yeah. by the keeper. But then you've also said the momentum shifted. Um, I think the momentum shifted before they scored, yeah. and that's what led to them scoring. How does that happen? Why does that happen? I think that's, that's, that's football, isn't it, sometimes? I think if we could probably work out why it happened and why momentum shifts one way or the other, then, then we'd you know, be proactive to try and stop it. And it's, it's a difficult one sometimes because, like we said, we, we were so dominant, I thought, in the first half in terms of our overall play, and we were really pleased with that. And um, you know, I think when you're having a good spell, you've got to capitalise in terms of putting the ball in the back of the net. And you know, we got one, could have had a couple more. And, and like you said, we came out the second half and we're on the front foot and created a good chance. Good save from, from Smithy, to be fair, with his foot. Um, I don't think Max could have done much much more with a header um, and yeah of, of course you know you're talking about a team that's fourth in the league that hasn't lost yet um, on their home patch an artificial pitch obviously is is a um, kind of a, a benefit of them um, because we don't play on it week in week out so I think we've got to give them credit as well and, and we can't expect that because we're Woken Football Club we can just come and, and turn teams over easily especially teams in and around the top of the league so um, I think you know every team has a spell and unfortunately they scored in theirs and then probably that gave them another a kick to go again and, and you know we did have to it was a bit backs to the walls for a while and I'm sure if you asked someone watching at that stage who was going to go and win the game everyone would have said them so I think that says a lot about our changing room and, and how tight the boys are and how fit they are and hard working and how much character they've got in there because you know we've dug a result out there where it probably looked unlikely for, for a long time in the second half Yeah absolutely I completely agree with uh, it does show tremendous resolve and determination to, to come out from a, a long, long sustained period of pressure like that. I mean, I was sat down this end with my camera and I, I might as well have had a deck chair because <laughs> it never came down. <laughs> it the other end, yeah. <laughs> um, you, you brought Paul Hodges in today and he repaid your faith within about five minutes by winning another penalty yeah, two yeah. games in a row yeah no I mean he's been patient to be fair Hodges you know he's, when he's come on he's impacted games um, and he's done well and he's had to be patient um, I think that's only his second start today but you know, we know what a threat he is, and we just felt probably on this pitch today that was maybe the bounce is, is is a bit slower, and you know he's quite quick at nipping in front of defenders and getting into little pockets of space and making things happen. And like you said, five minutes into the game, he did exactly that. You know, got got in on the half turn and, and drove into the box and and won a penalty. So you know that that's what he's in the team to do really, and there's nobody better really when he's when he's kind of in and around the box, at, at going past defenders and, and making things happen. So um, I thought he did well today. Probably a little bit second half, he was a bit of a victim of of the momentum him changing and, and probably didn't get him in the game as much as we did in the first half but you know he, he's contributed massively today and I think you know all of the boys have um, Saturday and today and that, that's what we need from, from the squad that we've got is when the boys are on the pitch they're contributing um, you know and I think we're getting that at the moment Yeah 
and uh, as was predicted on Saturday, it only takes two days for it to happen. Another penalty, and Max, of course, steps up and takes it. This time he put it away. Yep. No, look, there was never any doubt in our mind that he was going to take the next one. Uh, you know, I know he was disappointed with himself on Saturday, but you know, I've worked with him now for, for a year and, and the first part of this season. His penalty record's unbelievable, some of the penalties in, in pressure situations. So there was never any doubt in our mind that a, he would be on them and, and B, that he'd put it away. And, you know, he looked confident as soon as he put the ball down. And, you know, it sh- shows a lot of um, a bottle from him, like you say, so early in the game, especially to, to stand up and to put it away with that confidence. Um, so got us off to obviously a really good start today. Yeah, that's a very good point about it being so early. Uh, someone else who I thought did very well was um, Kieran Kinder John. Of course, he's familiar with the pitch and he'd be familiar with a number of their players, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so it was a really good game for him to. To come in in place of Ian Gale with his injury. Yeah, I was going to say it's kind of you know as much as it's a blow Gailey being out, it's um you know it give the opportunity for 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 Kieran to come in and play and obviously surroundings he knows well, um you know he's high fiving all the stewards on the way in so um shows how much uh, how highly he was thought of down here. Um, I know they rated him really highly so you know of course he know the surface be a bit more familiar um, with it than maybe some of the other players so um, you know that that was certainly a benefit for him. And, I think for the most part those two did well and um, the two centre halves I think there, there were moments where again playing on a new surface the, the bounce of the ball and, and you know obviously they're more used to it and um, and things like that so for the most part I thought we stuck to our task defensively you know there were some important headers some important blocks um, you know and to limit them within that good spell they had to, to one goal um, from a counter attack is um, you know says a lot about the boys to, to kind of regroup and, and to go again there and shut them out for the rest of the game sure and last one I'll ask today, um, when you brought Reggie on, this time you'd left Nicky Wheeler on and had one wide each side. That, that was different. Yeah, just, we just thought um, we thought Hodgie was probably tiring a little bit. We thought he'd obviously put in a, a good shift and um, he looked like he was probably out of, the, out of the front for the one that was tiring a bit quicker. Um, so, you know, obviously we know what Reggie gives us. To, to, we wanted to try and change the momentum and, and get the ball up the other end of the pitch. And of course, he can do that. And you saw when he came on, there was a couple of really good moments from him where he got in behind. And um, you know, he was mature as well. There was a moment at the end where he had to hold onto the ball and just just kind of buy some time and, and wait for us to get up the pitch. And um, it's good options to have. You know, it's, it's really good options to have. We it will still take some time to click. Um, you know, I think I said to the gaffer today, every other manager in the league seems to be talking about we're a new team, we need some time to gel and won't get there until November time. And, you know, we're not saying that. We're going, we're going about our business and trying to win games. But, of course, it's going to take some time. You know, we're working with probably 17, 18 new players as a group. Um, and there'll be patches and, and moments that we're not happy with and some details we need to iron out. And we do have options, especially in attacking areas. We've got some good options and, and we're still searching for combinations that work in, in different games. Um, you know, so we felt that was probably the best way to go today, just, just to have some, some energy out wide still and, and Max to do a, a response job in the, in the middle of the park just to shore that up as well so um, good problems to have you know they're all be obviously pushing now for, for starts for, for next Saturday and we'll see how they train this week and um, you know and, and we just have to keep working hard and, and, and look forward to the next game absolutely and uh, just to finish off this the supporters who, who come down around me were all, all saying things like my god well, how, how well are we going to do when we're playing well <laughs> and uh, I think that's probably a fair comment, isn't it? I think, yeah, I think we played well for 45 today. I think, you know, probably 60 yeah, in terms I think of... Yeah, if we put 90 yeah, minutes no, together, and, somebody's going to and, gonna and, and we agree that, you know, the boys said that, and that's kind of one thing we want to focus on. But again, you know, we stress the point. It's a really tough league. You know, you're not going to come anywhere, home, home and away, play any opponents that are going to give you an inch of the pitch. And, of course, some will raise their game because it's woken, yeah. um, and we've got to deal with that. But, um, like I said, it will, you know, we've got to be realistic also about the transition and the turnover of players in the summer it's been you know a large one to say the least and you know we're working hard on the training pitch there's been seven games this month in about three weeks so we've not had loads of sessions to to work with all the boys that we've got in Um, and we have to keep doing that but you know six wins out of seven with a work in progress isn't a bad return to be fair and um, you know we're we're the same we're excited about the possibilities to, to keep improving and keep getting better which we will 
Um, you know, but at the same time, that the boys are working incredibly hard and the boys are performing and showing some qualities in games um, that have obviously got us six wins so far. So we've got to look at that as a massive positive. Um, and, and like you say, we'll we keep building and keep getting better. Um, you know, and hopefully it's going to be exciting for everyone. I'm sure it will. Thanks very much for your time. The, the comment I made was was very much in a positive way. Yeah, and, and the same with the spectators that were around me. Yeah. Um, they were really genuinely excited about yeah. what this team can nah, achieve. We, we all are, we all are, you know, and it's um it's a very buoyant dressing room at the moment and, and there's no one that, you know, wants to be playing for ninety minutes at a you know, highest possible standards more than the boys and obviously the management staff as well. So that's what we strive for. And I think one thing about this manager, he's incredibly demanding. Um, you know, no one rests on their laurels and, and, you know, we will work just as hard on Thursday as we have the previous six weeks, um, you know, getting ready for the game so far. So, um, you know, we need to be up there at the end of the season. It's no good being up there now. And, and we're well aware of that. It's, it's a long season. There's a lot of tough games to come. And, um, you know, like I said, we we'll, we'll keep working hard and, and doing what we can to put a, a winning football team on the pitch. Of course, thank you. And uh, I'll have a word with Douse on Friday about Saturday's game Absolutely, and get his yeah. thoughts on Billy Ricky. Yeah. Have you We've got another song for him this week, or is <laughs> I'm sure there's a few requests that have come <laughs> in. It was not sure he wants that, to make that a weekly thing. But, but um, it wasn't me that had a song for him. It was very much yeah. him who had a song <laughs> for sure, me. I'm sure. I'm sure. Thanks for your time today. Congratulations on the win and being top of the league. Thanks still. very much. Cheers, David.